Hey guys, what's up? So, the first verse of the Bible is in Hebrew, and Hebrew is all numbers. So, a lot of people think the Bible is one mathematical code, and it is. Um, we all know the first verse of the Bible, and it, but it adds up to 2701, which is 37 times 37, and the 73rd triangular number. If you see right here, you just add... A pyramid, and that's called a triangle a uh, number. So 2701 happens to be one. If it was 2700, it wouldn't be triangular, period. And there's specific numbers, 666, seven, uh, 703, uh, which is right here, and the earth. And then we got um, 276 from the book of Acts. And then, of course, 153. Um so this is what Genesis 1-1 looks like as a triangle. And the earth equals 703. And then in the beginning, God created the heaven equals 666 times 3, or 1998. It's very interesting. It shows the mathematical order of everything. Um, and then we go into John 1-1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, with God, and the Word was God. In the Greek is also um, numerical. 3627 is the sum of it. It doesn't equal a triangular number, but it just so happens to fit as a perfect trapezium number right under Genesis 1-1 in the beginning. So, so if you add 2701 plus 3627, <clears throat> it does become a perfect triangular number, and it, uh, which is 6328, which is an anagram for Jesus Christ. Um, and also 6823 is the word count of Yahweh or Adonai in the Old Testament. <clears throat> See right here, Jesus and Christ. Um, if you multiply it, you get this. And if you add that sum, you get Jesus' name, 888. I mean, this website's full of great stuff. And here's another way Genesis <clears throat> hides pi. And John 1, 1 hides uh, E, which is 2.718 or alpha. And it's crazy. Um, and also, did y'all know that Moses in the Hebrew um, calendar was born 2368 in the Hebrew calendar? They always just show um, his, you know, uh, Judeo or his Gregorian calendar date. So you don't realize the 2368 correlation between Moses who saved the Jews from Egypt and Jesus who saves the rest of the world for those who are predestined. So... A lot of people don't know that. And yeah, Moses was born 2368, and that's the numerical value for Jesus. That's a great website, y'all. Really need to check it out. And let's go into the 153. So we know 153 is a triangular, but what what happens when you add up all the triangular numbers up to 153? You get 969. And anyone who knows the Bible knows that it's the longest years of a man's flesh, uh, Methuselah, in Genesis 5.27. He lived to 969 years. Everyone was always wondering, what's the importance of that? Well, it equals all of the triangular numbers up to 153. Okay, <clears throat> and this is what it looks like. A trapezium. Okay, um, four facets or faces and six sides. Okay. You know, and each facet, each face has 153, um, you know, let's say, let's call them balls like they uh, use in this website. So 153, 153 on the bottom is 153, and it all adds up to the longest um, years someone lived in the Bible, Methuselah, in Genesis 5.27. And it's just kind of uh, fascinating that that's how deep it can get and how the Bible's just been so misconstrued and, you know, made fun of, but... That's the perfect tactic, you know, to say something is something to the world when it's really not in reality, so the world has a totally altered perception of it. Um, I've already gone into most of this stuff, but, like, I just do videos once. I don't go back all the time, but I really should. Um, I'll save this for next video. Later.